Deputy Miguel Martin, please. Um, Taoiseach, the, the delay in taking decisive decisions by the Minister for Transport, Shane Ross, in relation to a second runway at Dublin Airport has reached farcical levels. Now, we know uh, uh, that Shane Ross was no expert in transport matters. We all remember the 2010 article uh, when he wrote and declared that Terminal 2, he said, is a white elephant destined to be the most underused terminal in Europe. How wrong he was. And indeed, it was a quotation in an article that Boris Johnson would have been proud of in terms of its predictability, inaccuracy, etc. etc. And indeed, Boris Johnson had to go to Afghanistan in a hastily arranged trip to deal with his own runway problems in Heathrow. I wonder where you planned to send Minister Ross. Because basically, he has failed to advance legislation that's critical to that runway project, in particular the appointment of a noise regulator and the legislation would pass an EU directive which would enable Dublin Airport Authority to appeal uh, planning restrictions on this project that make no sense uh, given the enormous growth, um, growth at, at, at Dublin Airport. CEO Dalton Phillips's last April, April signalled his deep alarm at government delays overshadowing the project. He said the delay in bringing forward the legislation could be potentially catastrophic. Um, and uh, impacting significantly on employment. De Dublin Airport has positioned itself as a global hub, yet the existing conditions attached to this uh, planning permission would restrict the entire airport, airport to 65 aircraft movements. Uh, it already, right now with one runway, facilitates twice um, that amount. 22 months ago, the Minister promised this legislation he designated the Irish Aviation Authority uh, as the noise regulator. He got that wrong. Uh, he also got wrong the idea of the, of the necessity for legislation. He thought a statutory instrument would do, and he was wrong. Uh, they had been gone recruit, recruiting specialised staff. He had to reverse that. He's now designated Fingal County Council as the proposed noise regulator to deal with these legacy um, issues. This is a critical period or, or piece of infrastructure, Taoiseach. Um, enormous impact on the Irish economy, supporting 97,000 jobs indirectly. The questions I have to put to you, Taoiseach, fundamentally is why the delay? Why the mess up? He has messed up and he's delayed the nomination of a noise regulator and in initiating the legislation. What is Minister Ross doing on the most critical piece of infrastructure before his department? You've known about this since 2014. No action. Delay. Why is he so indecisive on this? Why has he been so ill-informed? Why has he failed to do the groundwork uh, on all of these issues? And when can we finally expect the legislation to be published you, and Deputy. indeed passed so as that this project can get on the way? Taoiseach, I asked you specifically about Dublin Airport and I asked you specifically about Minister Ross's performance. If the government was 100 per cent behind the DEA plans, the legislation would have been passed by now. You've known about this for many, many years. He got the wrong nominating body, um, no homework done, no attention to the detail. Um, shocking in many ways, given the enormous importance of Dublin Airport, not just to the Dublin economy, but to the national economy. Um, and I asked, could you explain the delays? Uh, can you explain why the minister has been so indecisive. He has track record with DEA going way back to the kind of articles that I mentioned earlier. And I hope that's not informing uh, his position. And could you confirm whether he has met with Fingal County Council in relation to this? Because they will require very significant resourcing of expertise to enable them to fulfil the functions that will be outlined for them in the context of the legislation that, that he wishes to pass. Uh, because given his lack of engagement on this issue for so long, pro possibly the most important issue on his desk for the last number of years. He's an expert on judges. Thank you, He's an expert on guard stations and in the portfolios of other ministers. And where he's least proactive, least decisive, is in his own portfolio, which is critical Time to the Irish Deputy, economy please. and its future. And I really am talking about 2022, not 2040. 
because this has been on the pipeline for quite some time and it's his failure really to get the legislation through that has worried so many people and has exasperated so many people in the aviation industry for the last number of years.